Hey YouTube, here's Andrew with a quick update on my saltwater tank. Um, lots of things have changed since I've moved um, again. So there was a, a glass anemone grown by this jawbreaker yellow mushroom back there. So I had to, uh, what I did to try to get rid of it was I injected vinegar near it. So I'm hoping that killed it. If not, I'll just repeat and then eventually do something. Um, the last time I cleaned the tank, which was Saturday a couple days ago, um, I did cut out some of the mushroom coral because they were starting to grow up into my zoanthids. I was having lots of lighting problems, so my mushrooms have gradually moved up. They moved up about half an inch easily. Um, I have lost a lot of zoanthids with my previous lights. They're the original uh, Coral Life lights, and I can't find replacements. So this entire back half used to have taller zoanthids on it, um, armor gods and purple eaters or something, and they've pretty much all died out. I think I have one purple eater left. I don't know where it is right now, but um, they've since all died out. And then on this front, the entire front used to be covered with, uh, I think it's passion fruit zoanthid, and now we only have three left. And this was primarily caused by the light quality being so bad because the bulbs are probably uh, a couple years old. They're really bad. I need to replace them, but I couldn't find replacement bulbs. So what I tried to do was just replace the hood, and I couldn't find um, where to buy the replacement hood from. I went to the LFS, the local fish store, and he said that they couldn't get it. Um, so we we're going to get a different light, and then didn't hear back from them really. So then what I did, I just got a current light from Amazon, and I'll be posting a review video lately. And what I had to do is I had to gut the entire hood, and I'll show you here. There's the current light. It perfectly fits right on top. So if you're thinking about getting a current light for your BioCube, I highly recommend it. So you can keep the lid, and it'll still help with evaporation issues, and it look, just looks clean. What I had to do, I had to gut the entire thing. So none of the original pieces are left, and that took about an hour. So anyways, uh, that's a current update on the saltwater tank. Uh, can't wait to get it bigger, but right now this is what we got. And if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're into aquariums and animals and gardening, feel free to subscribe to the, can to the channel and you'll see more videos. Thanks for watching.